In this video, we're going to implement a simple RC4 decrypto script. The need for RC4 decrypto script arises from the TS cookie sample that I'm currently looking at. I've already identified where the RC4 key is loaded, and I've also identified the payload that is then extracted from a resource file. And this is RC4 encrypted with the aforementioned key. While in a previous video, I've written the um, pipe decoder, and I really hoped that it would also solve this problem here, that I can just select it and then run my pipe decoder. And then I could just enter RC4 here and then the key that I found to decrypt it. However, the problem is that I need a key length of 128 bytes and the OpenSSL does not provide this. So in order to get started with the RC4 script, I will use the pipe decoder as a basis for the new script. And then start a new script. Just copy the whole code over. Save it. And now we don't want to ask the user for a string, but we want to ask him for ask him for bytes. Next, what we need to change is this part here, where we previously called an external process. We now have to change the bytes that we read out via get bytes before within Python. So we remove this whole part. Let's call this here the key. And here I'm using cheat.sh to look up how to do some programming tasks. So we then print our script name and then after that the key as a comment before the code unit that we decrypt. So it's clear within the analysis where we actually did decryption. So now let's implement the RC4. So it seems that Gitra uses a byte array as the data representation for the get bytes method. Hence, I need to rewrite these this RC4 code that I copied to represent that fact. Now the script is finished. You can see that I just replaced, as I said in the beginning, just replaced the part where we call an external process with an RC4 decoder here, which gets the key from the user input and gets the data from the um, selection that the user makes. Now we can test this. For this, I need to extract the key. The key is actually embedded in the section that we're trying to decode, and it's located at the end of the section. And the key is actually 128 byte long. That's the reason why I couldn't use um, OpenSSL because it only supports 128 bit or 80 bit. So let's make this selection. 
and as you can see here the selection is 128 long however the last four byte of this key are replaced with another key so we only copy this part here to key and then the next part I've already found in here it's in the code they load this value here so this is the other part then we can copy this key here and then go back to go back to this section that we try to decrypt then we call our rc4 decryptor and then can decrypt this part if we now go into the bytes view we can then see here that a new binary starts and while I couldn't use my pipe decoder it's because I need a key length of 128 bytes and the OpenSSL does not provide this